All right, I bought a Dorset Eldorado a couple of weeks ago. It came with a Johnson 75 horsepower, uh, 1960. Um, I changed the water pump and synced the carb with the uh, ignition. Checked the points and whatnot. I fired it up. Um, it ran, it started right up. I wasn't really impressed with the performance. Uh, I was looking for a few things, water to come out of that when the thermostat opened. Uh, they said it'd be a noticeable increase or a spur of water at 130 degrees when the thermostat opens. Uh, I ran it for about 15 minutes, five minutes at a time on a 30 degree day in a bucket of water, um, a pail of water. Some people say it might not even open um, at idle at all. I don't really know. But I did pull um, bypass covers to check the cylinders, you know, because it looks like the paint was coming off some of the cylinders. Maybe from overheating, who knows. Um, and I saw some extensive damage you know, on this cylinder. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. Yeah, I think you can. It's pretty ugly. Um, compression was good, 80 pounds in all the cylinders. Um, that was it. You know, I checked it cold. It wasn't after it ran or anything. I don't know if that would make a difference. I'm concerned that under a low condition that maybe the cylinder won't have 80 pounds of compression. Pulled the head to take a peek inside. And I really thought it was going to be tore up. Um, like the cylinder. I guess because this is some kind of metal, some kind of cast, it's harder. So it didn't get tore up as bad. There is some scoring. Um, I really don't have much to compare it to, but it doesn't seem bad to me. Um, I could, can't even really catch my fingernail in any of that. Um, but I have no experience whatsoever, so I'm looking to talk to you guys uh, about it. Um, the water jackets look clean. Um, I did have a leak. Um, a little water leak. Water was pulling up here behind the thermostat. So I pulled it off. The gasket looks in good shape. I don't know if you can see that quarter 20 right there that is backed out. I don't know if this has any cooling effects or if it's just a cover for the crankcase, but all these bolts come off. They're loose. I cracked them loose. This one I got like that, a backed out quarter 20. I don't know what the significance of leaving it is or if I should try and get it out. Uh, any tips on getting it out? If I could hit it with some map gas. If it's even worth it, I mean, like I said, I don't have any experience, so I really couldn't tell you if the cylinder's any good. But that's why I'm posting a video. Um, I think basically that's really my only concern is that cylinder and if I should go forward and if I should tackle this plate. Thermostat looks pretty clean. Um, no debris, no residue, it's all there. Um, I have all the parts. Um, it was being held on with these little screws. That don't look original to me. That looks a little lightweight. Like I said, I did have a leak right where the thermostat mounted to the motor. A um, little bit of wear on this plate and that, but I have all my parts. I think I'm good with the thermostat. Um, the carb I took apart seems to me uh, I was putting these bolts back in here just to kind of keep track of them this whole gasket was covered with gas and oil I initially thought that maybe I flooded it and it looked to me like there's a little union there on the bottom of the carb that was covered in gas and oil as well um, you can see it right there I still couldn't figure out how it would get under the, the gasket though, all over it, um, until I put those bolts back in it. They look stripped to me. This I think I got to replace, this uh, cork float. I'll clean it up somehow. And I have a needle and seat. I don't have the car rebuild kit, but I will replace the needle and seat. I have a fuel pump rebuild kit. I will do that too. Um, and like I was saying, you could see little pieces of thread coming out with this bolt. I'm thinking that possibly this carb was loose, and that was the reason why I wasn't getting the performance out of it. Little pieces of thread are coming out. You can see it. I could push it in. There's about two threads left in the bottom. So I'm thinking if I 
I file this down, maybe I can get a nut on there, file that down. A nut it on the bottom and here I could probably make a spacer. But basically this is all based upon what you guys tell me about that cylinder wall. I hope it's good. I'd like to run this this summer. All right. Any advice or tips? Greatly appreciated. Thanks.